when it's warm out, you're walking to classes by McKeldin Mall and everyone's just sitting out playing spike ball, playing volleyball, just doing all their activities, doing work. I love sitting there with my friends after class between my classes and just like chat and catch up and then just like talk about our days and enjoy the nice weather on the mall. Just seeing everyone out and about, it's like wow, we're all here together. Personally, I would talk about public policy all day, every day. Our school is up and coming in that I believe our school has so much potential to shape our students into world changers one day. It's not just Avery Tower academics, it's faculty that's really doing the work in their fields right now. And so being able to learn from them and understand what it's like to do the work right now is incredible to prepare me for a future career in policy. It's really fun. Every professor knows infinite amounts of knowledge related to what I have to do and what I work towards. And Talking to them is wonderful. I think honestly the School of Public Policy at the University of Maryland is probably the best in the country in terms of getting you to where you need to be career-wise and just getting you the experience you need. So the perfect day, uh, it starts with waking up in the morning around 8 a.m. We'll go get outside, I go to the Y, eat some great food there, make a nice omelet for myself. Then I'll go to my first class, normally at 9.30. Um, and then come down to the public policy building and begin to study in some of our reading rooms. And then I'll start going to all my policy classes and after a few hours of that, I'll go out on the mall and set up my hammock and lay out in the sun for a few hours. As a transfer student, it takes about 20 minutes to get here and I take two, two buses from Laurel. A really nice commute, honestly. The metro buses run really well and really efficiently and they're really cheap, so getting on the campus and getting around is just an enjoyable process. My favorite thing about the new Thurgood Marshall Hall is the new screens. It's during the World Cup, they played the World Cup games during class and you could go out and see the entire match and it was wonderful. Being able to talk to people all the time and have so much in common and just like the college life is so different than the outside world that you can relate to almost every single person you meet. Uh, well, University of Maryland is a huge school with more than 25,000 undergraduates. Um, public policy helps to make that a small school with its about 400 undergrads. We have a very small community and smaller communities within that with our boards and councils um, that help you connect you with students that have similar interest areas to you and are able to help you understand and learn more about yourself while also hearing experiences of other people. Here at the University of Maryland, we have some really, really amazing and cool traditions. Before an exam, I don't want to risk it, so I do an exam offering so that Testudo gives me some confidence and luck when I take my exam the next day or in a few hours. I completely respect Testudo. I rub Testudo's nose every single time I walk by McKeldin Library, just out of good luck and not wanting to invoke any negative wrath from Testudo. Maryland, in one word, is it's proud. We're proud of everything, from our flag to our old bay to our bay um, to our crabs. I feel at home at Maryland all the time. I belong at the School of Public Policy because I believe in implementing change myself. We all belong here, and you do too. Go, Go Terps! Woo!